Hi everyone, I decided to do a sequel to the previous video that I did about my new game called Block. Now this was a few months old, it was made in April, so you can imagine that I've done, been doing a lot of work on the um, project over those few months. So now I'm going to show everybody what I've done. I'm going to start by showing you the editor, which is basically where all the maps are edited and processed, so that you can make new levels, which is good. So I'll just end that now. If anybody doesn't know, Block is sort of a little scrolling game that I came up with. Now this is the editor load screen. Basically just type in the uh, name of the map that you want to use. If it's a new map, it'll make the new map for you. If it's, an old, if it's a map that you've already done, it'll load up the, new, the old one. So I'll put in Demo for the sake of this. Demo was a map made earlier. Oh, it's like Blue Peter. Right, and if you look down here, it's the actual content goes within the grid, which is uh, bricks and platforms and jumpy things, which you probably see there. Right, and also if you press the arrow keys, you move along, move around the map. Firstly, I'll change the background, so I've got to change background. And I'll type the name of one of the files that contain a background, which is just a picture. So I'll in background 2, hit return, and we've got a sunny day, yeah, clouds and everything. Now, there's not much to look at at the bottom because the top of this moves when you um, go into the real map, like clouds moving in the sky. Now, I think this is a lot brighter and it makes things look completely different. One important thing to talk about is the start flags. Obviously, you want your character to start in a specific place. So, what you do is you click on set start flag and then you just pick a place and click on it, and the character will appear right there. So, I'm going to choose the middle of the bouncy thing, which is right there right there, so I'm going to put that there, click on it and I'm not too happy with um, this level here so I'm going to go into arrays and I'm going to get rid of these two little blocks here so it's actually possible to fall down here and get hurt by the spikes and then you'll see what happens when I do that. Uh, one more thing to note uh, is level selection. A game of block has 10 levels, well at the minute it has 10 levels and the way to add a level is simply by pressing the A key on the keyboard and this menu will appear and then you just put a number in from 1 to 10 and then it'll uh, save that level or the, the reference to that level somewhere in the level list so I'm going to make this a level 1 there we go I'm just going to close that now and go into the main level as you can see it's got an icon oh yeah right so we started and as you can see I built this today if you're watching it on there put it up so I'm going to press return and as you can see the character has started in the middle of the map where I placed it the clouds are moving, the sun is shining and everything is great so I'll show you what happens if you get injured so you move along with the arrow keys um, yeah. if you get injured you get HP points taken off your character's lives there as you saw that it changed colour and then when it got down to red it had one life left and then once the red went away it was gone back into the game so, here we have it. Let's get back onto a non jumpy platform. So, this is the half platform, as you can see. We jump up on there using the space bar or the up key. The up key does a half jump and the space bar does a full jump. Full jumps are the best, but sometimes you need to have a bit less height because uh, you might be going through a cramped space or there might be spikes above you, which I haven't quite worked out yet. Um, you can only jump a certain height. That's been solved from the original game because in the original one I had a lot of problems. It wouldn't, for some reason, I'd, I kept jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping, and you'd be able to get anywhere you wanted, and that was just really rubbish. But now you've got to actually um, respect the laws of physics. Yeah. So, anyway, as you can see, just scroll along. In the previous game, it was only like one scene, so you'd have like from the beginning of the window to the end of the window, and it wouldn't move anywhere. But now you can go anywhere you like. You can jump off here if you want to. Do. I haven't put anything here, so. in a new game, a new map, so let's call this new map, say new map, press return, get that back into the field of view, right, so it's a blank map, it's just the stars, I kind of like that um, background too, so I'll put background two in again, I used the key command there if you didn't see the um, cursor go to the icon, right, so we're on background two, 
So let's just make ourselves a little map. We will make the Bridge of Death. <laughs> or the Bridge of Life, whatever's your, your cup of tea. Right. So. I mean, you can do anything from little mazes, you know, like very kind of old fashioned kind of Mario type mazes, Super Mario platformers, but at the minute I'm just sticking to this. So we'll just do the Pit of Death. Yeah, put some spikes at the bottom. Right, so, I'll make the start flag there, right here. Okay, so I want to save this as a new level. Like I said, it's not much to look at, but there you go. Press A, select 2, and it'll be level 2 in the game. Let's close this, go into the game. Sorry about this tedium. <laughs> right, so we're in level 1, as it worked, and I'm just press N, which is the cheat key at the minute. It's not going to be there when I finish the game, but there's no way of when they're losing the game yet, so. Level 2. Here is my level 2, right where I want it. Right. That's all I really have to show today for the game, but I will um, discuss some technical details at the end of the video now. Right, well, that game you see there is completely different in code-wise, code, code -wise because um, I rewrote the engine. It obviously has elements of the original game, but I've written it in a way that means that the code can be recycled and used in other games, because that game was very kind of specific to block, and um, it had a lot of bugs. But now I've corrected that so that I can use different uh, components of uh, of this game to make other games. I mean, I used I'll just get that game up actually, Match Up, which is another game that I made, and I put on my site if you want to download it match up. This is basically uses almost identical code to uh, to block but uh, things were obviously taken out and a few things were added. The main body of the code is actually um, different but the different classes that you use, different um, elements are all the same. This is basically on the same code but it's, it's working perfectly. Yeah. So um, yeah I rewrote the code. If anyone wants to ask us any, any kind of element about the code, what please do because um, that's really what I'm good at answering. Um, that's really my main project at the minute. If you've uh, watched it at the end then thank you very much. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Just leave any comments in the box below and let me know. Thank you. And I uh, hope this gets as good a response as the previous video because uh, I was very surprised. Thank you. Bye now.